welcome to the Midnight Thoughts Podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Ingram, and every week on the show, I read a story from my collection, Midnight Thoughts, which is, of course, available for purchase on (laughs) Amazon.com. Wow, I hated that, but we're going to leave it in. Um, Thank you for tuning in. Uh, This week, we've got a very exciting a story for you. It's called Hollowed Ground. We'll get there in a minute, but first I want to say thanks to everybody who's been uh, listening and tuning in. Uh, It'd be cool if you shared this with your friends. We're reaching the back end of this journey. Uh, There are only uh, three stories after this one left, and uh, one of those we're going to break into two parts because it's pretty long, but there are only 40 pages left in the book, uh, I realized today, and um, this has been a really rewarding journey so far. Um, I've I've learned a lot doing this. I've, I've learned a lot uh, reading my own work out loud, which is something I did before publishing the book, but probably should have done a couple more times. <laughs> There, you know, I've caught, I've caught mistakes, uh, stuff that's kind of embarrassing. But you, you know what? As I've said many times in this journey, uh, uh, perfect's the enemy of good. And I'm making art for myself and for my friends and, you know, doing the best I can with a shoestring budget. And I'm still very proud of what I put together. And people have only said nice things. It would be really funny if somebody read my book and told me they hated it. I would honestly kind of appreciate that because at this point I feel like I'm being pandered to so I'll tell you what if you don't like this tell me or don't I mean I don't know what that would do to to my fragile ego I I couldn't tell you but I'm willing to find out if I, I want honest feedback if you guys think this could be better tell me all right I feel like my intros have been a lot shorter than this lately and now I'm just rambling so let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you for listening. This is Hallowed Ground. Hallowed Ground. Isabel knew she would be safe if she made it to Hallowed Ground. She did not look back. Isabel was fast, but it was faster. Just half a block back, she thought. Half a second wasted glancing over her shoulder would mean her doom. Lungs burning, she powered forward on aching legs. Blood pounded in her ears, drowning out the pursuer's footfall. Isabel feared she would feel an icy iron grip at any moment. I should scream, she thought. But no, I can't waste the oxygen. Besides, no one could help. Isabel's breath came out ragged, and she imagined her old track coach berating her to practice breath control. The thought gave her just a little bit more speed. She turned a corner and saw it, red-bricked, white-trimmed, imposing, hallowed ground. Just fifty yards. Blood still pounding in her ears, Isabel could now hear footfall behind her. So close. Calling on reserves, hitherto unknown, Isabel launched herself towards the building, praying with each step for the strength to take just one more. She made it across an empty parking lot and up three short stairs to the door, wrenching it open breaking a flimsy lock, only to feel an icy hand rip the collar of her jacket. With a panic gasp, Isabel wriggled out of her sleeves and half leapt, half fell through the door, her palms stinging as they slapped against the cool tile floor. She gave herself only a moment's respite, turning over just in time to see her assailant, now striding with a slow arrogance, step into the doorway. She grinned when it stumbled back in confusion. Isabel rose slowly, catching her breath as the fiend took the doorway at a run, and was again rebuffed. She took a slow, confident step back towards the door, coming face to face with her pursuer. I don't understand, it growled, teeth gleaming. This place is not holy. Isabel reached out a hand and tapped the window next to the door, where the words Gibson Public Library were stenciled in red and gold. This is where I waited when my mother went to her chemo appointments, she said. This is where I spent my days after she died. Grieving, reading, healing. This place is sacred to me, and you cannot come in. The creature gave an inhuman hiss and slammed a palm against the unseen barrier between them. Whatever, it doesn't matter, it said. You can't stay in there forever. If I can't get you tonight, I'll find you tomorrow. 
or next week, or a year from now. You'll let your guard down, and I'll be there. I never abandon my prey. Isabel smirked. You're right, she said. I can't stay here forever, but you will never take me. What makes you so sure? Isabel looked over the vampire's shoulder, across the empty parking lot, past sleepy streets, east, to the horizon. Because the sun's coming up. You better run. So that was Hollowed Ground. Uh, thank you for listening. Um, I kind of like that story a lot. I think it's it's uh, cute. I've it's you don't see a lot of stories where someone outruns the vampire, and I or the monster or whatever. You know the I I know that that kind of breaks trope there, but I think it's good. I think the the payoff is is pretty cool with the library um libraries are really really important to me um you know i i spent my family didn't have a lot of money growing up and if it weren't for libraries i just wouldn't i wouldn't be a writer now i i wouldn't be uh, the person I am. Libraries provided so much uh, uh, knowledge and entertainment and, you know, really gave gave me an avenue to open my mind. Um, to, it, libraries are such an important tool for self-discovery for working class people. And they, they are really important, as important as the internet is for the dissemination of information. I think the library is still um, important and relevant and uh, should be supported. And um, for my money, they are some of the most sacred spaces in human civilization. Um, Okay, well, that got weird and, and uh, 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 overly dramatic. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I, I, I just like libraries a lot. And if you don't, I don't know, um, that you should, you should check them out. They're pretty cool. All right, um, let's get to plugs. Uh, as, as always, our theme music was created by False Idols. Check him out. A uh, great producer here in Colorado Springs. Uh, I absolutely love Cyber uh, Cyberpunk Panic Attack, the the theme song uh, for the show. And uh, you should check me out on social media at Andrew Ingram eighty eight on Instagram or on Facebook or Twitter uh, at drew joker ingram i don't really care if you follow me on twitter at this point i'm pretty much off of there but check me out on instagram it's a fun time i'm really good at taking pictures um and as always you buy the book uh if you would like to read ahead uh that would make me feel very good about myself all right i think that's it for this week guys we will be back next week with a really cool uh, story called The Before Time. Goodbye.